we got not one, but two of the all new Dewalt Flex Volt Advantage tools. That's right, we got the all new Dewalt Flex Volt Advantage circular saw and the Dewalt Advantage hammer drill driver. Now the circular saw we're gonna have up this weekend because I've been slacking a little bit. But today it's all about the Dewalt hammer drill driver. Yes, very excited about this, the DCD-999B. Hmm, 42% more power with the flex volt battery? We'll see about that. This is a brand new drill driver, my friends, and we're gonna put it to the test. That's right, we're going through concrete, we're gonna go through wood, we're gonna use these nasty, beastly bits. Yeah, we're slicing and dicing, yeah. Now, the one thing that makes this flex volt advantage so special is that you're supposed to be able to use all kind of different batteries. So you can already do that on some of the other Dewalt drills. Yeah, you can use your sexy, flexy, flex volt on them. Now, you could do that with other older Dewalt drills, but there was some controversy, which we'll talk about that here in a bit. That said, the Flex Volt Advantage is supposed to give you, well, an advantage. Yeah, that's right. More power. But don't worry, my dudes. We're going to put it to the test. But first, let's open up this box and see what's inside. All right, let's open this bad boy up and see what we got inside here. Now, obviously, you're probably going to have your drill driver, but what else comes in this? Hmm. Oh, you got your handle. Okay, cool. You're going to need that so you don't bust your wrist. You know, I was thinking maybe a soft case, but no. However, we do got the belt clip. Score. And here it is, the DCD-999. All right, my friends, let's talk about the specs. A little bit heavier than I thought it would be, but this thing's pretty beastly. 3.54 pounds without the battery. However, if you were planning on using that flexible battery nonstop, you wound up looking like this in no time. Yeah, and that was after my third cheat day. Now, feels pretty good in the hands, got a nice textured grip. BPM, you're looking at 8,500 on low, up to 25,500 on medium, and up to 38,250 on high. The chuck and the clutch, rather large, but I'll tell you what, I'm liking it. Those numbers are pretty bold, so if you have trouble seeing, you're gonna be able to see this. I like it. Now, we are going to start drilling through quarter inch steel with a smaller battery. I think this is like a 2AH. That will help keep the weight down, and I just wanna see what it can do, but listen to this clutch here, this is cool. Yeah, get some. Yeah, you also got a variable speed trigger on this, which I'll show you later. Now, the RPM speed just on the drill, low, zero, up to 450. Medium, zero, up to 1300. And then the RPM on high, zero to 2000. I will tell you that the mode selector up on top is a little bit clunky, but it's pretty simple to use and it's larger. It's easy to switch between the different modes, so whatever. Let's get drilling. Quarter inch angle iron on low. Okay, that's really boring. We're going to high, people. Now that was real smooth. No vibration on the drill, no smells, nothing. Let's do it again. At this moment in time, I'm not really sure where my camera thinks it's going. Where are you going, camera? Where you going? Drilling metal equals? Real nice lock. Now it's time to go through some wood. Get rid of this. We're going with a treated two by six. Let's see what happens here. We're gonna use some beastly bits, some speed demons. We're gonna go right through this treated six by six. All right, so for the next test, we're gonna use a Dewalt 5AH battery and the one and a half inch speed demon. Now this is a 360 degree handle, so if you're left-handed, right-handed, it doesn't matter. I'm curious though, will it stay on there? Will it slide around? Will it glide around? I'm not really sure because there's really nothing gripping it. We're gonna tighten up our chuck right here and yeah, we're ready to go. These things are beastly. So we're gonna set this to two and see what it does. 5AH, here we go. Oh my. That's definitely a speed demon. Let's kick this bad boy up to high, mode three. Well, that was beastly. Now we're moving it to a three and five eighths inch speed demon. These are usually used on whole hogs, but I wanna see how this handles it. Usually you probably wouldn't use a drill like this, but I don't know, possible. Let's check it out on the 5AH. Now we are on setting two and uh, a nada. There is definitely a safety feature on here so you don't bust your wrist. So we're gonna move this up to the flex bolt battery and see if that makes a difference. Will it go through this treated two by six? We're gonna put this on two. Nope, definitely a safety feature. 
But what happens if we put it down on one? You will be able to do it on one, but it's still not perfect. If you're using a huge bit like the three and five eighths, go with the whole hog, but something smaller like this, the one and a half, wow, this thing is beastly. So for that, putting holes in wood, real nice that. But what about the concrete? Well, this is where this drill driver shines. We're gonna put it on hammer drill mode. We're gonna go straight through this stuff. Now this concrete is hard. Now on the hammer mode, you're looking up to 500 RPM on the low, up to 1500 on the medium, and up to 2250 on the high. And speaking of high, that's where we're starting. Damn, that hammer drill is fast. That was probably the fastest I've ever went through this concrete slab with any other tool. Let's do it again on high. That is a pretty hard hitting fast hammer drill. That is pretty impressive. Setting two. FYI, that's just a variable speed trigger. I'm doing that on purpose. Very controlled, not a lot of vibration in the hand, and that handle is holding well. Let's check out that variable speed trigger again. Not the smoothest variable speed trigger, but it works pretty good. All right, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. The flex volt battery being used on the left and then the 5AH being used on the right. Let's see what happens. Now I've done this test a couple times off camera, not really what I was expecting, but here's the thing. I will tell you that with the flex volt battery, there's a lot less sag. You're not feeling like you're losing anything when you're operating that hammer drill, where even though the one on the right with the 5AH won that, the battery doesn't have anything to do with speed. It's just making sure that it's not bogging down. Putting holes in concrete. Holy. Now I'm gonna tell you straight out that I thought before I started using this that the handle was gonna come loose. There's really nothing to grip it on. It just sort of goes on the smooth surface and really that's about it. But I didn't have any issue with this thing sliding or moving at all. And I was putting a little bit of weight down on it. So cool. Now another cool feature that you will find on other Dewalt tools is that, well, you can shut your light off. If you went up in the front, you can put it in the middle where it's a little bit brighter that switch, or you can bring it all the way to the left and that's gonna keep it on for 20 minutes. And that's also real nice lag. Light's also pretty bright. If you have that flexible battery on, it'll probably stay on for about 13 years. Yeah. Now, another awesome thing I found about this drill is there was no slipping on the chuck and it stayed really tight. So I didn't have to worry about this coming out, getting loose or anything. They did a really good job on this. I mean, this chuck is beastly. The build quality of this hammer drill driver, yeah, it's pretty freaking good. So yeah, it locked down tight. It stayed put. I can't say anything that I would change about that. So well done, DeWalt. Now, with all that said, I do want to let you know that this is bigger than a lot of the hammer drills that I have. The only one that sort of comes close to it in size is the Rigid. Now, just to give you a little bit of a comparison, this is the 999 compared to the 796. Not a crazy difference, but definitely noticeable. Now, let me talk about the flex volt battery here for a second. Now, I've heard other people talking about when they put their flexible batteries on other drills or other tools that wasn't flexible compatible, they were having issues with it. I've never had that issue. Quite frankly, I've never really done it. So to tell you the truth, you know, would I use this flexible battery all the time? Probably not. If this was my daily driver, I would be going with a smaller battery like the 5AH or even the 2s. But that said, if I'm going into concrete, you've seen how fast that thing was, then yeah, that flexible battery is going on. And again, it's really not even about the speed. It's about the sag. It is not going to bog down with that flexible battery on. It is beastly. Again, would I use it all the time? Eh, eh. No, it's going to get a little bit heavy, a little bit cumbersome, but you do have that flex fold advantage. It's sexy flexy. And of course, it's brushless. Now, as far as it goes with the mode selection, it's a little bit clunky, but it works okay. I already mentioned that in the video. It gets a little frustrating at times when you're trying to switch it to mode two, but then it goes into mode three just because it's so touchy, I would say. 
but everything else is well done well built and it's going to take years of abuse it is a good hammer drill just remember there is a safety stop on this so if you're going with huge bits like that three and five eighths it's not going to work out very well for you but when you're going with something smaller like this you'll be just fine now if you want to see the flexible advantage saw don't forget to get subscribed hit that bell notification we're going to have it here this weekend for you i make no bones about it dewalt makes my favorite saw so i'm very excited to use it that said will the flexible advantage play a huge role with it well get subscribed and find out now I want to know what you think about the all new Dewalt Flexbolt Advantage tools. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I love hearing your feedback and what you all think about the tools we bring to this channel. If you could, please smash that like button as it is greatly appreciated. I always appreciate you stopping by and with that we'll be back with more videos soon.